Hi guys, welcome to Cinema 4D with me, Michael Tierney. Today we're going to be having a look at making something like this. And some particle emitters glowing, going around the sphere. Right, um, where do we go, where do we go? New. Right, so we're going to get our base up first. So, uh, Control D and get your, get your project settings up. <coughs> 25 frames per second. Put out 300 frames down here. Let's bring that out. Render settings up here. Uh, we'll go up to the top and go film video 25. So it's full HD. Make sure that's 25. So they're both the same, both your frame, frame rate. Go to save here and put PNG. We'll just take it off for now, but save it as a PNG sequence later on. Right, there's your base setup. Right, what we're going to do now is go up and get an emitter. So if we go to where is the emitter? Where is it? Particles emitter. Right, you can have a click that or a quick way of doing it is a really cool shortcut yeah is if you hit shift and c and just start typing in emitter it comes up look and then you can just double click that boom straight away right if you play that get some cool little particle things all right next one you go 90 degrees like that start shooting up and then hit the shift and c again and we're going to get a tracer a tracer object boom now That'll just do all your lines going up. Now what we need is a... Uh, where we're we going, where we're we going. Circle, rectangle, we'll go for a rectangle. Put out one by one. Put the tracer on that in a sweet nerb. So if you put both of them into there. Now you can render that out. It's looking all right. Um, Probably want to get a camera in there as well at some point and PSR it. So just put all these to zero. Camera will go in the center. Pull that back like that and put it up uh, back a bit. Let's have a look in that. That looks fine to me. And uh, if you right-click the camera, Cinema 4D tag and put a protection tag on it. That means if you will knock the camera, you can't move it. So it's locked in now. So you can have delete that if you want to get rid of it, but it just saves. You're knocking the camera, or when you're inside the camera moving about like that, coming out of the camera and it's all messed up. Alright, let's put the protection tag back on. So now, after the emitter, you want to be getting some simulation particles and just pull, click this bar at the top so it pulls it out. I want to start putting stuff in like, we'll put turbulence in there. Next one is uh, rotation. Put both of them in there. So we've got back to the start, press play. Um, that was looking pretty cool already. Um, rotation, we'll put 90 degrees this way, like we did. That one, and same with turbulence, 90 degrees. You hold shift. If you go back, press play. There we are. Looking cool. Get a sphere in the middle. Pull that up. Scale it down. Get inside our camera. And we'll start playing with these. These are uh, sweet nerves. No, no, the turbulence. Turbulence and rotation. So we'll pull the scale of the turbulence up. Put that up to turn. It's just a case of tweaking these values, really. Um, Rotation, 100, there we are, look at that. Maybe not so much, 50. And sphere can be a bit bigger. Have a look again. There we are, so if we render that, it's looking all right at the moment. So we need to go to render settings up here. And if we click effects and go ambient occlusion, That'll get all the... You'll see what it does in a minute. Not much. <laughs> okay, right, ambient occlusion and global illumination. We'll, uh, we'll put that on for now. And then, double click down here, get your material. We'll put this on the sweep, on the sweep nerves. Double click this, and what we want to get is luminance channel. Pull that down to 75%. And get some kind of like blue, like Tron, Tron color, or like orange, whichever one you want, that kind of thing. And then we'll double click down here again, put that on our sphere at the top, 
I want to get a bit of like kind of reflectance in this uh, reflectance, and we'll play with the specular. We'll put it on, yeah, put it on ward and get get something like this, just so you can kind of see some. And then if you render, you'll start to see the global illumination, basically helping out with the light. Yeah, that's looking alright so far. Um, sweet nerves will want the end scale. So watch the ends here, and we'll be like, if you put that to zero, they get like really thin towards the end. So it's just not a kind of dead stop. They get thinner as a at, at the start. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Um, I think want this a bit a glossier reflectance. I don't actually mind the grain, I, I can like the grain, because we'll be taking this into After Effects or Photoshop later on anyway and adding some um, extra light overlays, but that is kind of your base setup. So if you just play around with your rotation and turbulence, um, yeah, should be sorted. There we are guys, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips, tricks and shortcuts. Thanks for watching.